Hey students, like so many other kids around the country, you are likely one of over a million students who are staying home from school in an effort to keep our community safe from the spread of COVID-19, a flu-like virus or germ that can easily spread if we don't take the necessary precautions. Although there are many changes we are experiencing, like school closures, canceled events, and stores low on items we usually take for granted, our community supports these changes in an effort to keep our neighbors, friends, and family as healthy as possible. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19, or coronavirus, is a germ that can make us sick. While most people who become infected will experience normal flu-like symptoms and become healthy again, this germ is especially hurtful to elderly adults and people who may live with other serious health issues. This is why it is important for everyone to stay as healthy as possible and not spread germs so we can help others stay healthy. How can we help ourselves and others stay healthy? First, wash your hands for 20 seconds with warm water before and after you eat, touch your face, or use the restroom. Don't forget your thumbs, fingernails, between your fingers, and the back of your hands. Second, cough or sneeze into the inside of your elbow to help keep your hands clean and keep germs from spreading. Third, don't touch your face. This will help keep random germs from getting you sick. Fourth, Try to keep at least an arm's distance from others in public places, like the store, the bank, or standing in line. Fifth, stay home if you are feeling sick, unless a medical professional gives you different instructions. This will help keep others from getting sick and will help you get better as quickly as possible. Keep a healthy perspective. Understand what you can or can't control. While we can't control the importance of keeping germs from spreading, we can control taking responsibility for washing our hands and containing coughs or sneezes. We can't control how others respond to schools being shut down for safety, but we can control choosing to see the good in the community's efforts to keep everyone safe and healthy. We can't control how long these new changes may affect our daily lives. We can control supporting community health care providers people who work day and night to find a cure as they are doing their best to keep everyone safe and healthy. Be creative, build a fort, paint a pet rock family and name them. Record yourself singing, you are my sunshine and send it to extended family. Write kind notes to your family and hide them throughout the house where they will find them. Blow bubbles, be helpful, walk the dog, do chores around the house you don't normally do rake pine needles, or shovel snow for a neighbor. Ask your parent or guardian for permission and ideas. Remember, the best way to stop worry is to focus on how we can help others. Keep calm and carry on. With school closures, spring events, and sports canceled, people wearing masks to contain germs, stories on the news of people becoming sick, and people around the world having to remain at home, some of us may be feeling nervous or anxious with so many changes to our daily lives. Anxiety or nervousness in response to getting used to something new is natural, which is why it is important to remind ourselves of a few important things. One, this is temporary. Doctors and scientists are working to find a treatment that will help us resist this illness. Two, remember your supportive adults, parents, guardians, doctors, nurses, and other adults who can help you keep your worries from becoming too big. Three, focus on the present. You are helping others stay well by doing your part, washing your hands, completing school assignments at home, and coughing into your elbow. Four, practice mindfulness to help keep your worries away. One of the best activities you can do to keep from worrying about the future is to bring your thoughts to the present. For example, name five things you can see four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Five, practice slow, deep breathing. Breathe in your nose for four seconds, hold your breath for four seconds, breathe out through your mouth for four seconds, and hold your breath for four seconds. Repeat until your heart rate slows down. Being calm is an important step to keeping the worry monster away. Six, Listen to calming music. Seven, do art. 
paint, color, build, sculpt, draw, write a poem. Imagine places and things that calm you and try to create it through art. Remember you're not alone. Millions of kids are doing and experiencing the same things you are. Keep in mind that most people who become sick become better, just like the last time you had the flu. What makes this flu different is that it is so new, medical specialists have not had a chance to produce a vaccination, something that helps humans' immunity systems to fight away germs. By washing our hands and following the guidance of health specialists, we can also keep germs away. That makes you an important part of a giant and thoughtful community effort, just like a real germ-fighting superhero. Be thankful. You live in a world that cares for you and your community, but it takes the strength and cooperation of everyone. Thank you, healthcare professionals, for working around the clock to keep our community safe and healthy and for helping the sick get better. Thank you, service providers, who are keeping our grocery stores open, electricity running, and clean water running. Thank you, police and firefighters, for continuing to work to keep our community safe. And thank you for doing your part in keeping our community calm and healthy. You are a healthy hero. Simply remember to wash your hands, cover your cough with your elbow, keep an arm's length from others in public, and stay home or call a doctor if you or someone in your home has flu-like symptoms. And keep calm as a germ-fighting cucumber.